are a few different modes that you can play Planet Zoo in. There's just the plain sandbox. You have like infinite money, no challenges, anything like that over here. There's this career mode, which really you should call scenario mode or challenges mode, because it's a bunch of little missions in here. Um, it's also effectively the tutorial for the game, the first two. Then there's challenge mode, which should really be called career mode. But this is one of the things they didn't have in the um, the early build that we played a Planet Zoo, the beta, uh, and everyone bitched and whined, rightfully so, for an offline sort of true career mode, or whatever we want to call this. I know the, the terminology is a little weird. This is what I would call career mode. This is what I would call challenge mode. And then finally, there's franchise mode, which is your 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 career mode um, that is online um, and is kind of nifty. Um, during the beta, there were certain issues making it work properly, and we'll see at release date whether or not uh, right now the servers are handling everything. But it does promise really cool stuff because one of the big things in franchise mode is the ability to sort of, you know, if you successfully breed animals, you can then go and put the animals on this global market for other players to be able to purchase from. There's like genetic systems uh, and things like that to make really good animals. There's a secondary currency in this franchise mode, which is these conservation points, which are mostly used for trading on that animal market. But anyway, let's start a new zoo. Uh, and uh, so we'll be temperate uh, erp, because this is gonna be, so our, our franchise is Petrastic Animals, and this is gonna be uh, Petrastic Brussels. This is our Brussels branch of the Petrastic uh, Animals franchise. Boom. Uh, there's no... There's a reason people said, hey, you better have an offline mode or else. I'm gonna try to hit the button one more time. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, close my franchise, which technically I started um, in the pre-release thing. Let me try this again. Patrastic animals. So maybe it hadn't ever properly synced to the server. Yuzu. Temperate. Uh, not North America. Or Patrastic Brussels. If it doesn't work, we'll just go into the offline. Let's go into the challenge mode. Because, oh, the other thing we can do is you can actually like, just click on the world and be like, there's my zoo right over there. That vaguely looks like, uh, like Brussels. Boom. What started your love for Belgium? Um, I mean, it, honestly, there's always something kind of interesting. Belgium's such a weird country is part of it. But the in-joke specifically of Brussels on our channel um, came from an old Civ 5 video, one of the first Civ 5 videos, where there were city-states, and Brussels was a city-state. And I was, you know, explored it, saw Brussels, and said, oh, Brussels, it's the capital of France. Wait a minute. <laughs> one of those. And anyway, ever since then, and so it's been like, yeah, seven, eight years or something like that, ever since then, it's been a thing on our channel. Okay. Well, let's... um. I wonder what the pause key is, because it's not spacebar, and I feel like that's probably something I'm going to be hitting a lot. General shortcuts? What do we think? I don't know. All right, WSD to move around. Uh, number keys are not the speed. Plus minus. I mean, there, mu there must be hotkeys. Can't see the money. Yeah, let me move my head, my big giant head, to something like this. There must be hotkeys. But in any case, there's our zoo entrance over here. I gotta say, like, it's amazing how much we can zoom in. Like, what? You know, get right down to the level of people. You know, the grass detail. I was actually really impressed how many screenshots you could do. They also have the compatibility for... Uh, I don't remember what it's called. Some sort of NVIDIA feature for like a turbo screenshot where basically like it renders the scene at like not even 4K, like beyond that, like 16K resolution screenshot with extra lighting features and stuff like that. Um, so you can get really crazy shots of your animals, which I think is very appropriate for this kind of game. Ansel, that's the one. Thank you very much. 
Um, so let's let's see what we can do. We get fairly effectively fresh to this game, other than having played the beta a while ago. Hey, uh, Tornlon, Torlonis, thank you very much for the bits. Even graphic update for Dwarf Fortress looks amazing. Mmm. Um, let's see. Asphalt, not Ashfalt. There's no H in there. Asphalt. Just embrace the ass. Uh, dark path. Ooh, we'll build our we'll build our uh, our park out of dark matter. I do really like the uh, the palace tile as well. It's kind of funky, cool, natural path. The crazed stone path. Um, so let's just draw something out. Let's have some sort of a bit of a path early on because it, it'll give us a bit of a of a feel. Do we want like straight, you know, corners and edges? Or do we want something that's sort of loopy goopy? How do we feel about this? There's too many Aussies here. We'll have to say Ashfelt. Wow. Circles, loopy goopy, river run, straight. Planet coaster, ridiculous CPU heavy. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Timey wimey, straight loop, perfect grid. So we got we've got some conflict going on in terms of what we're gonna do. Uh, maybe what we could do is we could start off with sort of a grid organized area over here, and then larger maybe enclosures that are a bit more natural near the back. Sort of a bit of two different things. Conflict in Twitch chat, never. More people want sort of like loopy, organic looking thing. Um, so we'll probably do that. I think I will do a little bit of straightness right at the start. Um... Angle snap. Here, so we'll use like a, a 45 degree angle snap to start off with. And I think we're gonna make this a little wider. I don't know how wide that initial path is. Four meters? Five meters? Well, even then, even at the widest, it's not quite the width of the original opening, which is fine. This looks a... Uh, some of these orientations feel a little bit uh, lewd to me. Um, oh, that's length. Thank you. herp -a derp What's full 10 meters? Okay, 10 meters is too much. Eight meters. Eight meters is too much. Is it six? Is it seven, really? Huh. Seven. Interesting. So let's go and build... Okay, that much. And then what we're going to do is we're going to end up with some some 90-degree corners. Again, we'll start a little gritty and then go into organics after we're in here. So... Something like this. Um, I want like a 90 degree bend here. Will you do that? I wonder if there's a way to... There is a way to stop some of this automatic... Is it holding control? Yeah, if you hold... There you go. If you hold control, it sort of locks a little bit more. Um, but now, how do I get a 45 degree corner here? Just turn the snapping off here, maybe? Well, not that, not angle snapping. Because, in fact, we want 45 degree angle. But I don't want the curve aligned to grid. Hmm. I mean, that's not what we're looking for. Although. Square edges. That's probably part of it, too. Um, okay. One, two. One, two. And yeah, the automatic camera follow thing is interesting. You can turn it off or not. Like, you have to make a bit of a choice. There it is. So you click to choose a reference piece with the grid. That's actually kind of handy. I, I can see us doing great things. Thing is, this game, even though it's got more crunch than Planet Coaster, I think it's still going to be, it's still going to reward people who are, like, more artsy fartsy than I am. Hey, they fixed that bug. When you, in the beta, when you close the path window, clicking on the path button didn't work. You had to, like, open another window and then click on paths again to have the window open. So we're going to have some shops, some little, um, little exhibits, little enclosures over there. And then, yeah, we're going to go into... 
um, a little bit more naturally loosey-goosey. Now, I don't know if I'm spending too much on path to get started here, but we're going to do that. The other thing we discovered um, playing the, uh, the beta is you could do really cool sort of elevated things above, um, above enclosures. You know what? I'm actually going to go... How do we delete? Is there a boulder as our button? Delete paths. There you go. Knew that. Oh, the grass changed. Interesting. And then what I'm going to do um, is... I guess, yeah, we'll stay on that. Angle snap down. Smaller width. Uh, do I want to go all the way down? Sure. Uh, get off of delete path button. And then I'm going to start making... Nope. Wait, hold on. This is a different tile. Actually... Oh, it's because it's not tall grass anymore. How do I feel about that? Kind of okay, actually. We'll get to our initial path here, and then there'll be other joins. Yeah, I might go and replace that one tile piece later on, but I kind of like the different colored paths. Okay, useless is sort of a idea. Uh, I also mow grass by laying and removing asphalt over it. Yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty standard. But yeah, like look at that. Tall grass, no grass. It is graphically kind of insane. Okay, so we got barriers that are fencing for things. Uh, this is stuff we put inside of habitats. Um, nature things, prob partially for habitats, probably, and also decoration in general. Facilities. Are we starting with everything unlocked? Is in this mode, is there no research mode? Do we start with everything open right away? Hmm. It's this could be a little disappointing if true. I do like the fact... Name Moose! Hey! Uh, make sure you have plenty of space to lock up the big carnivores. Are you nervous there, Name Moose? Your antlers itching again? Um, this construction mode is quite cool because what you can do... So for the facilities, all right? So like, you know, they have, the, you know... Oh, there we go. The, the large toilet kind of thing over here. But really... This is not the actual toilet building. This is the toilet building, this little block here. So you could just put down the block. This is the functional part of it. And then you can go into construction and build your own like roofs and color everything and use different styles and whatever. It's the same thing like that for all the facilities. Um, so. Staff room there, there we go, research center. So, I mean, this is technically the research center building. So you can make it look like whatever. Then they also have versions that have been, you know, somewhat decorated up. I think me decorating all these things by hand, it's a little bit much. So I think we're probably going to hold off on that. Um, there are small exhibits as well. Where are the small exhibit buildings? Are they in here? Monorail! I'm hoping the shops are working too, because they didn't uh, in the beta. There we go. Small animal exhibits. There we go. Right there. Guest facilities, staff facilities. Yeah, so we can sort this. So we can have these little exhibits. And make like a little reptile house or something right when you come in. That's a possibility. And again, these can be decorated on your own too. Like I'm wondering if we should do something like that. One here one here. Oh, it auto-gridded, too, for the layout. Nice. Although, it does show that we're not quite even. Can you move this once it's been placed down?
Aha. Um, how do I cancel grid mode? Auto stacking? You think? Nope. Nope. I think auto stacking is... There you go. For verticality. Grid size, grid... I guess this... Um, or I guess what I could do is I could reselect the grid. I want to... I almost kind of want to recenter. based on this intersection here. The prop, okay, this is, these are grouped. Can I move the entire, ah, hold on, there you go. So they're grouped together, which is something you can do, so they're almost sort of like one building, but now I can move them both, which is kind of cool, and they're on the grid, so the spacing's gonna be equal, done. And then this group that we're in can be modified, you know, and add more, more fancy stuff and whatever. Um, so we'll add some animals in there after. I think we need an animal trade center before we can get any animals, but a couple of little buildings that you can check out some lizards or spiders or something right when you come in. Here, lizard, lizard, lizard. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll have a variety of guest facilities right after. So as you come in, you can, uh, well, we'll, ha we'll want donation boxes because they're a good way to make some money here. Um, We'll get some info and stuff later on. But donation boxes. Because people pay a fee to come in. But we'll also try to get them to pay as we go. Um, rotate key. Not right click. Middle click. Z plus arrows. Or just Z to rotate 90 degrees. Okay. Uh, we'll go for some of these decorated ones. Well, we need a gift shop. Where's the gift shop? Oh, info. Info's a good start. Merchandise shop on the other side. And then we'll have a food and a drink shop. Maybe both over here. Excellent. Recycling. Garbage. fit one in here. Oh, they can put one at an angle, which might not be so bad. I don't know. I think... We'll get some benches over there. Maybe I'll leave that one there. I'm kind of interested by it. Chief beef. Mmm. 100% beef flavoring. <laughs> and then gulpy over here. All right. Now, this is a park. We should probably get some animals in here. Uh, we, I guess we do need a few more staff facilities. Now, I think the staff facilities are supposed to be, like, ugly and unappealing. People don't really want to see it. Maybe we can make this little path here. If, maybe we'll make this one staff only. Um, so what we need to do... Yeah, staff paths. What we need to do is... Delete this... A staff only path path there and then get in the staff facilities we need to we need a, a freaking uh, loan right away trade center so 
if I hold down, there we go, if I hold down Z. Hey, now we can trade for animals. So yeah, so the online trading features aren't going to be working, but effectively the game is still there. Um, so what we want is we want small animals of some kind. Uh, we can filter. Because I want like a snake. There's a lot of animals in this game. Uh, maybe we don't get them here. These might all be big animals. Ah, exhibit trading. Right. They're exhibits instead of just animals. Why are you exclamation marking it? Being adopted for cash can't be released in the wild. Yeah, that's fine. Are these big bugs? Oh my god, giant centipedes! That, those weren't in the, uh, the demo, I don't think. Holy crap. Centipedes, iguanas, boa constrictors. See, this is what I want. I want some boas. Right by the front door. Um, and yeah, there's a, a scoring system. The value of an animal. Kind of thing there. Uh, okay, 10 years old. Probably want a younger. Here, let's get this long, young little boa here. 0.7 years old. Conseja. At least for centipedes. Count all the animals, please. What do you mean, count all the animals? Boa constrictors the door, always get a welcoming hug. That sounds great. Yeah, let's adopt a boa. Send you to the zoo, so you're gonna get put in that one. Excellent. Um, what's another species we're gonna put in the front door, in the other one? Death adder? No, no too, not too many snakes. Giant burrowing cockroach? Hairy scorpion? Forest scorpion? I like there's like m multiple different scorpions. Land snail, gila monster, golden poison frog, golden beetle, golden bird eater, gold goliath frog, green iguana, layman's poison frog, Mexican red kneed tarantula. Kind of tempted. A puff adder, a titan beetle, a western diamondback, a rattlesnake, or a yellow uh, anaconda. Scorpions, tarantula, fuck the cockroaches. Mexican red kneed tarantula just has such a great name, doesn't it? So I don't know, like, this one has a bigger number, but that one's got, like, a different colored tag. And I realize that you're buying it with conservation points instead of money. I think this is, like, a peel or something. I don't have a tool tip for it. But this one has, like, longevity and fertility. We might be able to, like, get some spiders mating. We could get this male and this female. And put them together. What do you think its color its knees are? Green, maybe? And adopt? Oh, did it forget my filter? Ah. Nope. And then the female. There we go. So they're going to put in there. I like how it like, makes a little habitat for them. And they're different, right? Like this habitat with, for the snake is different from this habitat for the spiders. Um, we'll be able to put like different backgrounds and do other things to make them all fancy schmancy as well. All right, let's make an enclosure right here. What is the first animal we're gonna adopt? Spider babies. Uh, this is gonna be a new thing. There's just, <laughs> cool man's in here. He knows we need the spiders for, for like our high-tech weaponry. Pandas. They have a type of two spider, that one there, yeah, but maybe they'll make more. Red pandas, penguins, aardvarks. A lot of people want pandas right away. Lions, spider pig. They added pandas, pandas. Okay, let's find out if they've got pandas. Whiskey and chocolate. Hey, Dundarf Snowbunk. All bug 